Hey guys, I want to take a minute to talk about what happens when a narcissist is accused of being a narcissist. Now, this is actually one of the telltale ways, ways that you can identify a narcissistic personality disorder in someone is to pay attention to what happens when they're accused of being a narcissist. Now, I'm not saying that you should go accusing someone of being a narcissist in order to see how they react to the accusation. That's not the point. The point is that someone who is not a narcissist will have a much different response to being accused of being a narcissist. And that response will often look like uh, concern. Someone who's not actually a narcissist, if they, if they get called a narcissist, they'll become very disturbed by that. And they'll be like, what? Like, am I? And they might start to do a lot of self-inquiry. They might start to do a lot of research on narcissism. They might take an inventory of like all of the signs of narcissism and try to try to like really be honest with themselves about like, oh gosh, like which one of these signs apply to me, right? In other words, they'll be concerned about the possible implication of what it means that they're a narcissist. So if you are not a narcissist and someone calls you a narcissist, you're probably going to feel affected by that. You're going to want to look into it because you're going to understand the implications. You're going to be like, whoa, if this claim or this accusation is actually true, I've got something I need to work on. Now, that part of an, uh, a person's character is something that a narcissist themselves is not capable of doing. A narcissist themselves, when they're accused of being a narcissist or when they're told you're a narcissist, they will have a reaction along the lines of like, oh, I cannot believe that person would say that to me. They'll be upset and offended, but not by the possibility that the accusation is true They'll be upset that anyone said anything critical of them because that's a narcissistic trait. And I've seen this happen before with narcissists on a handful of occasions when they're confronted with the potential for taking an inventory of their own psyche by being referred to as a narcissist or being, being told that they have narcissistic traits. Again, a normal way to respond to that would be to investigate the ways that it's true. A normal way to respond to that would be to really slow down and sit down, maybe even to pray and to be like, okay, wow, if I'm being, ref if I'm being accused of being a narcissist, I want to do a deep inventory with myself to see in what ways it might actually be true. In what ways am I somewhat narcissistic? In what ways should I be a little bit more sensitive to other people's feelings and experience? That's a normal and a healthy response to being accused of being a narcissist. And you'll never see a narcissist do that. An actual narcissist will always, they'll, they'll try to recruit sympathy for themselves. Like if they get called a narcissist, they'll immediately turn to someone else and be like, oh, can you believe that they called me a narcissist? Like, because again, the narcissist is never able to internalize anything. They're never able to take responsibility for anything. So if the world is offering them a reflection of like, this is what's going on with you, they're going to immediately go into victim mode. They're going to immediately be uh, like totally upset that someone could, could ever say that. And they won't try to understand it. You know, like I heard someone once, he was lamenting about how he got called a covert narcissist by his partner. And this is what he said. He said, she called me a covert narcissist. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. That was his reaction. Do you see? Do you see how he didn't even have the curiosity to want to know what it was? That's the trait of a narcissist. A narcissist is totally unconcerned about trying to empathize with another person's experience. So if you call some if you call a narcissist, a narcissist, they're going to have some kind of reaction that lets you know that you're right. They're going to be like, oh, "How could you say that to me?" or like, oh, "Oh my gosh, like that is so rude." or like, oh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Like those are like narcissistic reactions to being confronted with the truth of having a personality disorder. And if if you've ever tried to if you've ever been in a narcissistic abusive relationship where you've told you you've figured out what's going on and you've realized like wow, this person's a narcissist and then you say it to them. You say you're a narcissist you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll know that they are like, they, they don't even defend, like they won't even say like, oh, 
I'm not a narcissist. They won't even say that. They'll just say like, oh, how could you say that to me? Which says it all. It says it all. When they react like that, it's just like, what can you do except roll your eyes and realize like the person is who you think they are. And like every narcissist on the planet, they're not able to be responsible or accountable for how their own behavior is affecting other people. Narcissistic personality disorder. It's the only disorder in the psychological uh, DSM guide. It's the only psychological disorder where the victim of the disorder is not the person who has it. With narcissistic personality disorder, the people who are ultimately the most affected by that disorder are the people who come near and enter into a relationship with the narcissist themselves. The narcissist themselves is not able to actually feel affected by it until they're left uh, potentially mortified where their ego structure that they have created to prevent themselves from ever having to face the truth of reality, if that structure ever comes crashing down, then they might have to realize the truth of who they actually are as a narcissist. But phew, these people are sneaky, man. The narcissistic ego and psyche is clever and it can really stretch on for a long, long, long period of time ever having to deal with truth, ever having to deal with actually what's going on. So it is a severe mental illness. And if you ever try to tell someone who has this mental illness that they have it, be prepared to watch them just deflect, blame, redirect, deny, ignore. They're not gonna, they're not gonna do anything that a healthy person would do, which would be to investigate the claim. A healthy person will investigate the claim. If you accuse someone who's healthy of being a narcissist, they, they're going to probably look within and do some self-inquiry and to be like, wait a minute, does this person have a point or not? That's how a normal person would react. A narcissist, they'll never do it. They'll never do that. And that's how you can tell, you know, if you don't already know by now, one way that you can tell is to see how they react to that accusation. And if they just get offended, if they're just mad that like anybody said anything negative to them, it's a telltale sign that they are who you think they are. Stay careful out there.